Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. I post videos three or more times a week and I would love it if you subscribe. So today we are going to be cash stuffing bills, sinking funds, and spending. So let's open this up and get right into this money. Okay, so let's count it and see what we're working with this week. We have 1, 2, 50, 3, 50, 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 98, 8, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we have 825 to work with. Let's set this money up. so that looks good so let's grab my wallet we'll start there okay so in my wallet this week we have some rollover we have some receipts that I will load into my fetch app the links in the description below and then we have my personal spending envelopes which are all empty and for rollover this week, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I'm going to set this aside because I will stuff it in my savings challenge at the end. So for spending envelopes this week, gas is my wife's spending envelope where she goes to the gas station throughout the week when she's working. And so her envelope is going to get 40. So 20, 40 going into gas. I should probably get an envelope that actually says Vanessa because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but it makes sense because where she spends her money is actually at the gas station, so it works for me. Okay, groceries this week. We're going to stick with the 120. That worked out, but I'm going to do two 50s and a 20 just because that seems to work a little bit better. So 51 and 20 going into groceries. Okay, so beauty this week, surprise, surprise, is not going to get stuffed. And the reason is because I keep spending beauty and not getting my nails done. But the reason I'm not getting my nails done is because I think I'm going to give up this expense. I think that it's really important to me to slim down the budget a little bit and put more of a focus on getting debt down. And I think the nails can go because they're not something that is so important to me that I can't let go of. So my plan for this week is to try to find some acetone around my house and try my hardest to soak them and get these off of my fingers because I don't want to spend the money to go into the salon to get them off. Otherwise, I'll just be tempted to get, to get nails again. So I'm going to try to do it myself at home and get these nails off. So let's see how that goes. Beauty is going to get pulled out of the wallet. The next envelope is one that says Kelsey, which is me. So since I'm not doing beauty, I'm going to be stuffing a personal envelope for me. This was a freebie gift that was made and given to me by Sam's Crafts and Customs. It was very sweet of her to throw this gift into a purchase that I made of some of her savings challenges. So I'm going to use this as my personal spending envelope and I'm going to do $20 for myself for this week. Doesn't that just look beautiful? I can't believe it. Okay, that looks great. So fun this week is gonna be getting $20. And this is pretty much the price of one Starbucks run or like one cheap, cheap takeout or maybe a night of pizza, but even still, I don't even think that that could cover a night of pizza. But um, I, I stuffed this fun envelope just if we want a little bit extra spending for both of us. Okay, and then miscellaneous, I had been doing 10, but I'm gonna go with five for this week and see if we can make that work and still have rollover. So we shall see come next week. All right, so five into miscellaneous and that is all done for the spending envelopes. So now let's grab my bills binder. 
So for rent this week, I'm going to do 113. So I will do 110, 11, 12, 13. Wow, what a technique. My goodness. Just coming up with them. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed the money like that. But anyways, 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, going into rent. Oh, yeah, and rent is um, half was halfway stuffed last week. But my mom had some projects that she was doing around the house. And my brother, um, my brother came up to help with um, projects. And so she wanted to pay him in cash. And I said, rather than wasting gas to go to the bank, I can just prepay you for rent. I don't care. Just take the cash. So... Technically, there's only 113 in rent, but I've already paid half half the rent for the following month. I don't know if that made any sense, but hopefully it did. Okay, so Kia is going to be getting one, maybe if I grab it with this arm, 175. No, I don't know. 150, 75. If it's on the left, I gotta grab with my left hand. All right, so we've got 150, 75 going into Kia. So let's Grab this and we can count all of this. So Kia now has Oh, this is such an ugly old one. Oh, one, 100. My goodness. I was offending it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put that one behind the other prettier, newer 100. I just called it a one again. I can't believe it. 100, okay, I'm gonna count now, I swear. I swear I am. Ready? Ready to count. Okay, one, two, 50, three, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 5, 10, 5, 15, 20, 25. So five, 25, so. I think, what are we in? The third week of April already? Wow, I can't believe it. So, getting there. All right, so AT&T is gonna get a 50 per usual. And let's take a look. AT&T now has 51, 20, 40, 50. So, 150. All right. And in progressive, we're gonna do 25. So, 20 and a five. So I am gonna call probably on progressive. I keep saying that I'm gonna do that and I haven't. I do wanna try to get some of these bills down if I can, uh, just because I feel like I am overpaying in some areas, but we'll see. Um, I haven't made that call yet. So progressive now has 120, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. So 175 in progressive. Storage is getting 32. I remember from last week where I messed that up, but I won't make the same mistake twice. Well, sometimes I do. <laughs> All right, so 20, 31, 2 going into storage. Let's see where it's at. Storage now has, whoa, whoa, ones are flying everywhere. All right, storage now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, I almost said 75, that's not right. 80, <laughs> I'm gonna start again. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 96 in storage. So that's good. Maybe I'll do like an unstuffing of my bills this month when I take all the money out and make the payments. Um, maybe, maybe not, I don't know yet. <laughs> okay, so subscriptions is gonna get 45, and remember guys, I told you that that includes the automatic uh, payments that I have for any other bills. I've just lumped that all together. So subscriptions and auto pays now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2, 45. I think that's right. No. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 135 in subscriptions. Beautiful. And then credit cards. Oh, I did have to make payments on credit cards earlier than I thought just because um, I got a little nervous about 
making sure all the minimums were paid because I was trying to be a month ahead with all my payments. And I don't know if I miscalculated something or what, but I pulled this and I put the payments right to the credit cards halfway through. So we're just gonna do the 70 for this week and then we'll just keep going with the 70 each week. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70 going to credit card minimums. All right, awesome. So that is going to be it for the bills binder. So let's grab the sinking funds binder. Okay. So as you can see for sinking funds, I made a new envelope. I took a look at what we were spending on and I still felt as if we were dipping into the buffer or spending a little bit on credit cards still. And I really want my focus to be on debt. So I think having a sinking fund for coffee is going to be helpful because I am noticing we're making purchases for, you know, Starbucks or coffee or whatever. We do have an espresso at home and I'd like to save this money throughout the month so that we can just place an order and try to make coffee at home more than going out for coffees. But I do notice that we do go out for coffees. So rather than deprive myself and say, no, you can't go out for coffees at all, which is just gonna make me wanna do that and wanna put it on a credit card, I'm going to try to stuff some money here so that I have a place to pull from and I know when to stop. So that's my plan for this new sinking fund. Um, so coffee for this week, I'm going to put 20. Cute, and you know, I was really tempted to buy myself a new label or buy myself a beautiful new envelope. But I told myself that the point of making this envelope was to save money and not to continue spending. So I used stickers that I had gotten a while ago in a sticker booklet at the dollar store and just wrote right on there. And I basically made myself a free envelope out of stuff I already had around the house. So I'm very proud of myself for that. So there is the coffee envelope done. Household is gonna get 50. So 20, 40, and 50 going into household. And we have been pretty stocked up on stuff, except we just switched Finn's diapers. Um, we had gotten the, cause we like to go to BJ's, which is like a Costco or Sam's Club. And we got the BJ's brand of diapers for him last time and they are absolutely horrible. So we ended up gifting those to his little cousin so that they didn't go to waste, but they were really not good. <laughs> so we're gonna have to switch. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna have to dip into this sooner than later, but I'm hoping we can save it up and do another BJ's run um, once this envelope gets up a little bit higher. So we'll see how that goes. So that's it for household. I am not going to be stuffing our personal envelopes. I'm thinking about moving these personal envelopes like somewhere else, maybe to like a long-term saving, just because I feel like we were spending a lot out of them. We were filling them and spending them, filling them and spending them. And I just felt like that was kind of defeating the purpose. Um, I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted them to get a little bit higher before we spent them and I just felt like I kept spending in them. So anyways, um, I'm thinking about maybe making like a short term sinking funds or like a binder that has, you know, the fun, the sinking funds that we dip into on a regular basis and then like more long term ones. So these can maybe be more like savings. So I don't know, maybe we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to stuff ours this week since I feel like we just did a whole lot of spending um, this month. So let's move on to travel. I do want to continue to save for travel just because it's unrealistic for us to deprive ourselves of going and visiting my wife's family. That is something that is very important to her and very important to us and our family. Um, it's especially important to me for, for our son because... Um, my wife's first language is French. She is French Canadian. So um, we are T 
teaching our son to be bilingual. So my wife's side of the family only speaks French when they speak to our son, and obviously when they speak to my wife. Um, they can speak English with me, but my French is just not that good. I don't want my son to struggle like I have with the language. So it's really important for me that he is integrated in that culture and that language as often as possible since we are so close. Um, yeah, we really do like to go once a month. So um, I want to continue to put money towards this since it is something that's very important for our family. Oh, I didn't count how much is in here, but maybe I should. So in travel, we now have 20, 30, 5, 40. So $40 in American and we have 20, 30, 40, $5 Canadian. So I will just keep keep stuff in this until we're ready to go again, which might be towards the end of May, we're thinking. Okay, so then the last envelope that we're gonna stuff this week is pets, and I'm gonna give pets 20. We just had to make a few unbudgeted spends for the animals because we had ticks that were um, getting on the dog and getting into the house and getting onto us. So um, I want to definitely bulk this back up so that when things happen like that, I can pull from here and not ha be tempted to put it on a card. So pets now has 20, 35, 45. Perfect. And I will try to update these trackers. So um, I'm not going to stuff medical. I did just have a copay that came out. So I pulled some money from here, which is great. And then next week, I'll try to build it back up for any more copays this month. Um, the last thing that I want to do is I want to finally put this motivational bill somewhere. So this is just um, a bill that my mom had and she had given to me. And I'm going to be using it as like a motivational bill bill just to be intentional about my goals and be intentional about where I want my money to go and for a while I've really been putting a lot of money to savings and also to debt but I'm shifting my mindset and I'm really going to try to focus more on the debt and get that cleared if I can get debt free um, basically as soon as possible that would be amazing so I'm going to be a little bit more intentional about my spending I'm going to be a little bit more intentional about where my money is going and that is why I want to place this motivational bill into this debt envelope. Okay, so doesn't that just look beautiful? So that doesn't mean that I actually have $100 because again, it's not a placeholder, but it's just a beautiful spot for me to look at this and say, okay, let's continue on the path we're on. Let's make sure we continue being intentional with our money and getting our spending down and let's make debt the focus and the priority. So that is where I'm going to be placing that motivational bill. And I am going to hold off on savings challenges for a little while, or at least hold off on how much I'm putting into the savings challenges because I, again, I really want the focus to be on debt, but I am still going to continue stuffing my rollover into my piggy bank. So let's go ahead and grab that rollover and we will stuff that now. Okay, so we have the rollover money and we have the Easy Money Cash booklet, which is what I have been using to stuff into this big piggy bank. And my idea was to go in order and get through this entire book and get it all into here. And we'll see how that goes. But I have been stuck on this 365 penny challenge for a while. So um, I'm either thinking of doing this or potentially I got a freebie scratch off from Hands and Bands when I ordered from her and I got a freebie savings challenge from Budget with Ira when I ordered from his shop. And so it might be nice to get through these and get that money in here as well. So I'm either gonna do this or these and I'm thinking let's set this aside for a minute and let's do, uh, let's see, how much do we have again? 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, I'm a little nervous to do these scratch offs since I have no idea what the amounts are but I'm also really tempted to do them. So let's just do one and if it goes like way over something, I'll just do an IOU. 
So I'm gonna be using my scratch off tool that I got from Erica, who's over on YouTube uh, at Black and Blue. And she has a bling business where she makes all these custom beautiful blingy things. Her shop is called Making It Bling. Um, so yeah, definitely check her out. And I'm gonna use this for the first time and see how it goes. So let's do this one. We'll go left to right. Well, if we can, let's see. All right, here goes nothing. Ooh, cool. Okay, so let's put this up. I'm gonna wipe away this dust into the trash can. Okay, so I was really tempted to scratch the entire circle, which I managed to do, and we got a seven, so that works out perfect. So we have, let's, I think this is 17, right? So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, perfect, and that leaves us with 10. So I'm gonna stuff this $7 into the piggy bank. Awesome. All right, so down that goes. Perfect. So I'm not gonna scratch this other one because I only have 10 left and I'd be worried since that one was low, I don't know. Um, okay, so let's stick this back in here. I'll do that next time. And then why don't we just do two fives on Ira's saving challenge. So I'm gonna use this pen. Ooh, I gotta figure out how I wanna do it. Do I wanna color them in? Do I wanna just cross them off? I think I wanna try to color them. So I got $10, so I'm gonna do two of these. Let's see what happens if I do this. Cool. Cool. Awesome, so I went with just trying to like follow the outline and that looks really cool. I think I like that. Oh wait, I have another one to do. Jeez. I'm not very good at staying in the lines, but I do try my hardest. Perfect. Awesome, that looks great. So I've got two fives done on this one and I'll take these two fives and put them right in. So let me shake this down because I wanna make sure that all these bills fit. Yeah, okay. I just tried to look inside there and yeah, I can't see anything at all. So I have no idea how full this is, but um, feels like there's still plenty of room. So I'm gonna stick this back in here and we'll keep working these challenges with the rollover. So that is going to be it for this video. But make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely leave me some love, some likes, some comments. I love interacting with you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.